G'day everyone. We are back for another one of, I swear September has just been spend up big September. Um, I have been away on holidays and I've been to the big smoke and when I go to the big smoke, I go to the big shops. Um, you know, they have all of the, the mega store versions of all of it, the craft stores and the, and the stationery stores and things like that. So I kind of bought a lot. But um, I'm going to put it into sections because it's not all colouring related. Um, you know, my name doesn't say anything about colouring. Um, this is just all, just things I like to share. Um, but I'll do the colouring stuff first. And then after that will be more of the crafts and and nail stuff. Because I'm like, my nails, mind you, they're trash at the moment because I'm building things at the moment. And I'm like, I'm not giving myself, fixing my nails after being away. Um, until I get it all put away and um, it's the, the thing is you see my nails more than anything else like my hands so I'm like oh well I'll show you anyway some of you might watch want to watch it might not just click out I'll leave it at the end I won't be offended let's do happy mail first first thing I got was a little um, book um, and big panda and tiny dragon and um, it, it's a storybook and it also has, I, I imagine you could colour some of these images if you wanted to, but it's just a beautiful little book. Um, and I am looking forward to really getting in and reading it. It goes through the different seasons and the story between the panda and the tiny dragon, which is lovely. So I, I got that one. And then I also got sent... Um, by Angie, this uh, Black River Art Dream World. She was doing it on her channel the other day for um, Ashley's uh, Celebrate Happy um, Streamathon. And I was just saying, you know, the dark, dark grayscale kind of intimidates me. And um, next minute, it's arrived on my doorstep. And the images are just spectacular. Um, they are works of art in themselves. So I'm looking forward to getting my hands into this and, um, and I don't know, hopefully not ruining it. Um, they are just, they're just beautiful images. I'm trying to find the image that um, Angie was working on. Let's see if I can find it. It was a little house. What's that? It'll be like, I can't find it. Was, um, if you haven't um, checked out, checked out, oh my gosh, English, Timmy, if you haven't checked out uh, Angie's channel, um, make sure you go across and um, give, us a, give her some love and support. Um, she's been doing all of the 100 hugs with us as well. Um, well, the hugs a day, September, which I'm behind it, I'm aware, but I've been away. And so we're having a mini flip through here. <laughs> Because I'm looking for this image, and I bet you it's the first one. Or I can't find it. Either of those two. This one. It was this one. So it's close to the front. Um, and it's got a little ladybug on it. And it's like, I'm a little ladybug. Uh, me, ladybugs. So I got that. Um, and then I'll show you the things that I got for colouring. As Well, kind of. I found these were, I went to Officeworks and um, I, I like, I like the clearance section. I, I, I spent a lot of time, you'll notice here that a lot of this stuff is because it was on clearance and it's like, ooh, sale sign. Sorry, just having a drink. But these were less than half price on clearance and um, they are the coloured lead um, paces or mechanical pencils. We call them paces here. I don't know what they are in other parts of the world. So they just got the um, mechanical leads in it um, and they're all different colours. I've already opened mine because I used it to write my MC speech So it was all and my run sheet. So it was all colour coded at two in the morning and then I didn't even really follow it anyway. So I grabbed that and then of course when the girls saw that I grabbed myself a packet, they're like, but we want them. And so I had to go back and buy more. So I bought another packet, which is for some, and I think one of them's already taken their packet. I don't know whose this is, but anyway, so I got them. And then they also had on clearance the replaceable LEDs. Pity it doesn't have all of the pretty colors. It's only got the blue, red, and green, but 
I got them too because they were there and um, I was like, oh, why not? Why not? It's on clearance. And then I got myself, because I forgot the other day when I ordered my all of the Copics from the art shop, I forgot to put in replacement nibs because one of my Copics um, I come with a dodgy nib. And um, I rung to add it to my order. They'd already sent out my order, so I picked them up while I was at Office Works as well. And um, then I got a Pretty Pets case. Probably Georgia will steal this one because it's pastel rainbow. But um, I grabbed that. And then I got um, some mini detail brushes. Um, I have them downstairs as what Em goes. She's like, you already have them. And I'm like, yeah, but they're downstairs in the art, in the painting area. I wouldn't mind a set upstairs. So I grabbed myself a set of them. And then I got myself um, the Derwent water brushes and they were like really cheap. So I figured I'll give them a go. They've got the fancy push button thing. Let's have a look. So I like my Mont Montemarte ones. Ah! can't open things. Let's, uh, let's break some more nails in the process today. All right. So this is the large tip, the four millimeter large tip. So it's got the little push button there. I like that. It's like, ooh, push. Tells me what to do. And there we go. So we've got um, some tips. Oh, they're a bit fat. But that's all right. So I grabbed them because, you know, why not? Um... Let's put this back on. So I've got them to try. <coughs> what else did I get? Oh, I grabbed myself some more brushes from Daiso. Um, you'll see Daiso pop up quite a bit. So Daiso here, everything's, it's not 100 yen or like a dollar. It's $2.80 in Australia. And um, <laughs> the lady's just laughing as I put it all on the counter. And she's, it, it was funny. And she was giving me the running tally each time. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah she'll be right. Keep going. She'll be right. These were on clearance as well. And I've seen a couple of people use this. And I'm like, oh, they're pretty. So these are those um, uh, markers that when you do it, it outlines it in the color and leaves the, the inner side all sparkly. Like, let's get real. It just said, Tammy, bye me. So I am drinking. It's really hot here today. So I'm like I'm quite thirsty there. Then at one of the stores, um, these were <laughs> available. And um, so I grabbed I grabbed them all that I could. And I grabbed a couple of extra sets um, that I might be able to give away at some point. But these are the Pictura um, colouring posters. So I got Traffic, Street Parade, and Monster Party. And if you want me to, do it, to open them up and show you them all, just let me know. But I'm kind of like mindful that this video is going to be super long as it is. And I'm like, uh, probably. But we'll open up one and have a look. And um, so you open it up. And then it folds all the way out <laughs> so we've got what, eight eight pages to the poster and then the back's got stuff on it but the back you can like I'm not interested in any of that which means that you could easily use markers on this which would make it a little bit more of an achievable process um I don't know I don't know why I bought them they were you know on clearance and that's kind of what I do so um yeah oh, I can't even get it back in the packet but anyway so I got them okay typo then had these on 50% off and I've been eyeing them off for a while but I'm like I didn't want to pay full price for them because it's like $30 or something full price what was it yeah $30 full price and I'm like mm. but they are watercolour brush pen. I don't know how watercolour as such they are, whether they're just water-based, but it does clearly say watercolour, and it comes with a um, water brush as well. So that kind of gives me the idea that it might actually be watercolour. Um, I can't even swatch anything because I don't have anything out because my, my, 
my room is like I've just got I got home last night and um, it, it's stuff everywhere so I need to get it all put away but if you'd like me to um, swatch these on film let me know uh, on film on camera um, I think you know especially those that are in Australia with typo you might be interested in what how they perform um, and then oh, also at the 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 cheapy shop this was here extreme coloring amazing world and it's all um different uh city scenes and stuff like that and that tells you on the side where they all are um and i i like i just like looking at buildings um and look at the detail in this oh why do i pick these things but anyway i got this because it was on clearance and why not um and it's a pretty book oh look at them some of these are so pretty oh look at that um yeah so i grabbed that one um the isbn is there if you want it um but yeah so it's just pretty oh look at that I'm like, oh. anyway, better stop looking at it. Um, if you want to full flip through again, let me know. It, it's kind of those things of like, I don't know what you want to see or not see. I think he's just want to see me. <laughs> I think he's just want to see me spend a ridiculous amount of money and, and realize that it's not you alone, that I also have issues. Probably should turn the light on, but anyway. And then I grabbed some storage boxes because, you know, I'm just gonna go turn the light on because the sun just went behind a cloud, so. Okay. All right. So that was it for coloring. Now we're going to get on to crafts. This is what happens when I start doing something. I want it all and I want it all now. Um, let me know if you're the same. I, I just want it all. And um, so I, come, <laughs> I went on a bit of a, of a, of a crazy ride. So I'll get the big box out of the way first. And this was actually more happy. It's not happy mail as such, but it makes me happy because my mummy bought it for me. So she got me a cut, die cut and embosser machine. Um, yep, that's that's kind of what she got. Big box there. Um, so Kaiser at the moment's got, Kaiser Craft has 30% off. So um, it was a t I wasn't ever going to pay full price, but... Um, that is what she got me. I'm just showing you the side of the box. I'm not even going to try and pull it out because I'm going to put all this away. Um, but I did. Oh, over onto the bed. Um, so with all of this stuff that I've bought, I was like, because I have 14 hour drive up and a 14 hour drive back, I do a lot of thinking. And I come up with an ingenious plan to turn the corner beside my desk into a little, little crafty coloring nook. And I bought a couple of set of shelves. So this morning I went out and bought some timber and I have used the shelves and the timber and I've made myself a little corner. So that is my job. Uh, this is why I'm filming the video because I, I want to put it all away because I'm one of those people that um, I can't cope with, with stuff out. I like it neat and I like it put away and organized. So, but I couldn't do that until I filmed this. So it's kind of like, yeah, no. All right, let's get the other big stuff out. I got some big pieces of chipboard, super exciting. And then I got some big pieces of gold foil, which is way cheaper to buy it like in the in the poster size than to buy it in, um, you know, A4 size sheets. So I got me some of them and I'll just cut that down to put away. Let's look at some storage. I got a couple of these because I want to get my um, TV monitor up off my desk a little bit and give me a bit more space and with the rearrangement I was thinking about things because I do and um, so I went to get a TV, uh, a TV monitor or a monitor you know stand and then these to buy two of these was actually cheaper and it come with little cute little drawers so this is from the bathroom section at Kmart but like how cute are these and they're, they're solid enough that they will hold my TV monitor. 
and it'll be up off and I get extra drawers to store all of the stuff that I've got. So lots of storage stuff. So it's here like little lovely caddies. So I'm like two of them. My TV will sit up on that nicely and I got like little things that I can do with that. So I've got to see that. Oh my gosh, this bed. I, I'm going to run out of room to even place it on the bed beside me. But anyway, okay. Let's, what else did I get? Let's have a look here. This is the Kmart. We'll just go through this. I got some little storage containers for things like sequins and stuff like that. And then I grabbed... Um, these were like marked down. <laughs> story of my life marked down but how good would these be to like store things that are cut up and ephemera and all of that kind of stuff but they're accordion folders and they're like big and they're pretty and I don't have to make it because I made one the other day and it took me ages and this is all already made for me so I'm like okay I'll do that for a dollar fifty I, I can't I wouldn't even be able to come close to making it for that so I got myself the three that were left Oh, that, the glue's just caught. <sighs> Hold up. There we go. So there we go. Like a little accordion folder from Kmart. So I was like, yeah, getting them. And I'll jazz them up or pretty them up at some point. It'll be one of it'll be later on, like everything else. So I'll just be getting in there and I'll be like, yeah, I'll do that. And then I saw these because these are on clearance too. These are actually um, candle, like votive holders. But they're pretty, and I thought that they would store some things on my shelves, like little knick-knacky like things or little sentiments or little things that I'm using, and they're pretty, and the rest I can use at Christmas time for um, the Christmas decorations. And I love gold, so my house, the theme of my house is red gold and that kind of stuff. So I was like, ooh, for $2, I got 12 of them. So, you know, you're getting the, you're getting the idea here. Alright, let's do the op shoppy stuff. Teasing ya. Alright, so I went to the op shop. Oh my gosh. Went to the op shop and like, you know, we got some clothes and stuff because I always go to, we like going to the op shops up there and we look for the label clothes and things like that. So I've got things like that, but I'm not showing you that. But I was like, oh, I'll have a look around at the paper stuff and things while I was there. So this says $4, but it come with a box full of, not these papers. These I got from Kaiser. I'll just get them out of the way. I got these from Kaiser because they were pretty. Um, simply because of that. And they were lovely. Um, but they were, um, it was full of all the cardstock that hadn't been used and stuff. So grabbed myself a bunch of envelopes for not much and then my mum's cousin worked at one of the op, store, op shop stores so I got everything super cheap so I got a bit of lace cut off some animal thingies oh these were from the wedding so on our on our um on our place settings these are all had all been cut out so that was where they're from so um but I got like all of like these and the confettis and all of that kind of stuff. And this guy, like I got it for pretty much nothing. So um, I was like, okay, cool. And um, so I grabbed them and like magnetic sheet. And this is the, this box was, I, I liked the box. It's always good to have these um, 12 by 12 boxes to store things in. But um, it was full of all of this cardstock. So I was like, and, and more. Like it says only, t this says 10, but there was more in there. And then I also grabbed um, these things because they were all just laying around at, at the thing. So I just picked them all up and they gave it to me for pretty much nothing. So I was like, oh, well, I'll grab them. So these are all these little things and I've got to go through and sort that out. And then under here is all of the cardstock. So, but yeah, so that's what I grabbed from the office store and... And oh, this stamp. So I got this stamp um, as well at another op shop. And um, it was, so it's a layer stamp. Um, and yeah, so, but it was originally, you can see it's $12 and you can tell by the tag that who knows how old this is. It's probably worth a whole lot more now. And yeah, so 
I was like, okay. So that's what I grabbed from the ops shops, apart from, as well as some clothes and stuff. I got some great, great clothes. I got some good, je like, label jeans and stuff. And the girls got some cool label dresses and stuff like that. Um, my, my th rule with the op shops is um, we're not going to buy anything that I can just go down to, like, came out of Big W and buy. We look for those pieces of, like, like got a pair, Emily got a pair of um, black uh, country road work pants for $2, so. That's the kind of stuff I look for. Um, all right. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Which one to do? You think we're nearly done, and that was that was actually the the small part of it. I got two big containers here. All right, okay. Let's do this. I got went to went away to Bunnings this morning to get the timber. They had these um, marked down, and they're basically washi tape. Um, getting rid of them, so the low tack. And I went, cool. That will come in handy for the die cuts and things like that. So I grabbed. Um, and I'll use it for painting and stuff because I've promised the girls I'm going to paint their rooms. So I'll use that for paint engine and stuff. So I grabbed all of that. And then, okay. All right. Kaiser. So this is a bit of Kaiser and a bit of Daiso and a bit of Office Works. It's a bit and a bit of Spotlight. So all of this is all bits of everything. But anything that comes from Kaiser Craft was 30% off and if it was already on clearance you still got an extra 30% off so yeah so I was like okay cool so things like you know they're marked down to a dollar I got them for 70 cents so got that it was missing a couple of stickers but there's still heaps of ones twos and threes throughout here so I was like what if um got some lacy sticker I got some lacy doily stickers I got some butterfly stickers I got some more lacy stickers and some more lacy doily stickers so there's those stickies um, where am I going to put all this stuff okay I got there, there'll be die cuts and things coming out left right and centre as we go through this but um, I packed it as best as I could um, I got this little advent box for yeah seven bucks um, and this is good because I was planning on making um, advent calendars for the girls this for this Christmas and I wanted to make it obviously make it well so that we could reuse it each Christmas so um, I, got that. I saw that and I went why not and then I got this one again you know I get another 70 percent uh, another 30 percent off so this is a stamp and die set I like, cool 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 and then we've got some little letter buttons and scrabble but scrubble embellishments oh look another die cut thanks thanks for spending lots of money here thank you um this will, will match some paper i'll show you later but this anything from anko is from our kmart um but these are all native um flowers and leaf die um die cuts so grab that it's always good those ones to send out in happy mail to people that I know journal and, and card make and stuff like that and send them some Australian native stuff. I got some little cute magnetic little storage cubes because I've got up uh, part of my little thing that I'm building has got some um, metal strips there so I can stick that there. And you know, they were cute. Oh look, Kaiser. Let's have a look at these ones. Okay, I got some wooden embellishments. So we've got some Aussie ones, some butterflies and some flowers, and some love hearts. Okay, I've got a pokey tool. Pokey tool. Um, from the Kmart, I got that, and I don't know where the stamp thing that goes with it has disappeared too but basically I got a wax stamp thing I haven't showed Georgia that I bought that yet um, hopefully hopefully I haven't lost the stamp thing hopefully it's somewhere in this pile of stuff we're hoping on that okay some washi tapes let's go Daiso, <laughs> Daiso. washi 
So these are more fabric tapes. So all of these are actually fabric tapes. So, um, here we go, here we go. Yeah, look, I used some of that on the wedding card. There we go. To zip up the envelope. There we go. Um, oh, look, there's the stampy thingy. So I got it. It's a little love heart. A wax seal. Look at that. Um, Yeah. So, so this is all like the fabric cloth and the washi, and so the fabric stuff come. It's like um, it's got the adhesive backing, and you just remove that, and it's all um, fabric related, and it's pretty. And if you hadn't figured that was what it was all about, I was like, oh, I'll have this. I'll have that. I'll have this. So I got a lot of them. Lots of different types. These ones are little colouring um, washi, so they got little kokeshi on them and daruma dolls, so they're cute. And then I grabbed some more masculine kind of style washi tape from Typo because these were I didn't pay five dollars for them. I paid a dollar. I think it was they were down to a dollar, something like that. Um, I got. Don't know why these were down to a dollar too. So you see five dollars, they weren't, they're a dollar. Um, so I got some more paper clips. Last thing I need, but hey. Um, okay, let's have a look at some inks. Oh no, wait up, before we look at inks, I'll get rid of these guys. So whilst it dies though too, I got these little vinyl tape things. I think that's it. I don't know. But I got the vinyl tapes, so they're just all like, you know, different kind of natural, like marble, wood kind of thing, stone. I got them. Um, and I got, uh, okay, let's do it. Okay, let's get them out of there. Okay. So I figured I can't afford, I'm, I'm never going to be able to afford all the distress inks. Well, I, you know, I, can, I say I can't afford, I can, but I'm like, <laughs> And these were there, and they were seventy percent off, and all of that kind of jazz. Well, some, most of it was anything from Kaiser was. So I grabbed some inks. Um, there you go. So I pretty much got all of like I just added to the kind of inks that I have already. So I've got some Memento Dew Drops. And then I got some, these were, these were on clearance at um, Officeworks. So I got some gold and silver in a bigger thing. And then all of these from Kaiser, just to add to the range. Again, if you want to see all of these colors, let me know. But um, I got them and then I got some stays on ink, black. <coughs> okay. So there's those inks. Okay, then I got some embossing ink and some embossing powders. Oh, and then I got like this iridescent spray thing. Like, sh -sh -sh. Irid Kaiser, Kaiser Mist. I reckon that'd be pretty to give some shine to stuff. So I got the iridescent one, iridescent white, just to give it, I imagine that it'll be mostly clear. Um, and I grabbed some of the transfer gold foil heat thing, whatever that stuff is. What's it called? Foil quill. Heat activated foil. It was gold and it was shiny. So I got some of that. I think that was from Spotlight. I'm not, like I said, it was a whole range of stores here, and for me, it was all about packing it into something that made sense on the way home, rather than keeping it in store things. Daiso, I got some more of those keyring loop things, you know, whatever they're called. Um, card rings. Yeah, there. And I got some cute little spray bottles. Look at them. They're so cute. 
And then, uh, Dyson, so I've got a big thing of, like, brown craft tape. I love brown paper. I love the look of brown paper, and I saw this, and I went, oh, I like that. I love that. Do I, do I need it? No. Same as I grabbed the whole bunch more of the wider um, double-sided tape. So, and these are really cool, like, because I pulled it out because I had to do something for on the card that I've made. And um, I pulled it out to add it to it. And um, these are cool. They come with their own little rippy thing. I was like, how, how cool is that? And like a little measurement down there for $2.80. That's like awesome. So I was like, yeah, okay, I'll take that. Um, oh, it even goes around the side, depending on how long you want to make it. That's really cool. Small things, people, small things. Okay, so I got some of that. Then I got some magnetic adhesive tape. And then I got some little um, Velcro dots. I got some super glue. All right. Then, because I need these, not at all. Got a whole bunch of sticky notes because Daiso does, like Japanese, Japan just does the best stationery. So I got a whole lot of sticky notes. And look at this, tracing paper sticky note. How cool is that? I'm like, small things again. Some, you know, it looks like brown paper. That always appeals to me. And yeah, and then I got some little message cards. Again, just to send off for, I don't know. If any of you guys journal and, and would like like little happy mail full of all of this kind of stuff, let me know. Because um, that's what I buy it for. I don't actually buy it for myself. I would like to give back and give away. And then these cute little envelopes, the little petite envelopes. So I grabbed a couple of them. Um, okay, let's get rid of the, the sticky notes. You should see the pile that's increasing. I had it all packed nicely, but as I unpack it, I got to keep going into the box. So it was like, Ugh. okay. Oh, look, there's another message card. Oh, there's, there's another, another cardy things. Little, these ones have got little, like where you can write little notey things on. There we go. Um, okay. Kaiser again. I got a couple of, I'm sure I ended up buying more of these. We'll probably find them along the track down here. I got um, some more of these, um, what are they called? Project Life over there sized card things that you can add for things, thingamajiggies. Again, if you journal and would like me to send you a little envelope full of stuff, let me know. Give me an email. My email is in the description down below. Okay, let's, let's get on to some stuff. Okay, let's get on to shiny things. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, shiny, more shinies. These are shiny. All of these kind of stuff, they were on clearance. Like everything I get, I try to get on sale. Then I got like little butterfly gems because it's butterflies and I can't resist things like that. And I got little tassels. I think they were like marked down for a dollar. I don't know. And then we got stamps. We got this one's from Daiso. These are just from the cheap shop. I've got like a million alphabet stamps, but hey, I didn't have these ones. Um, I don't know where these were from. Probably from the, I don't know, cheap shop. Somewhere cheap. Somewhere. But we got them. So these are all different sentiments, which is really good. And then I got this one because it's an owl. And then some more sentimentsy stuff. And then I've got a lace doily die cut, circle die cuts, oval die cuts heart die cuts and scallop de circle die cuts and I got I've been looking for one of these for ages and I've had them on Amazon on Amazon wish list for like forever and every time I used to go to spotlight here or link craft they never had them which is a little finger blade 
Um, I watched Sheree, uh, the posh paper lady. If you don't, if you're into paper craft, you seriously need to follow her. She's awesome. The thing she does. And um, I, I'm like, I want one. And I have been trying to find one. And I saw it at Spotlight. And Friskers was all, I'd say 30% off or something. So I went, all right. Because Fris oh, I just dropped eyes everywhere. Hold on. I'm just going to throw these onto the ground. And because Friskers was on 30% off, I got some more stuff. So I got a circle punch, a smoothie thingy jiggy, um, technical terms, another circle punch, and another circle punch. Because circles, no matter how you try and cut them, you just can't cut them round squares and rectangles I can cut with my paper trim up, but circles, no. So I got them. And then Daiso had this tiny little corner punch and I was like, yeah, cute. And I got myself, I got cutting mats of every size, but look, a little tiny cute one, just if I needed. And it was pink and it was pretty. So I got that. And, oh, okay, let's, let's. We're, we still haven't even got to the last box, by the way. I'm still going through one of the boxes. I hope you've um, grabbed a snack and a drink. Let's put it that way. Um, then I got some little paper doilies and these were at Daiso. So people like, seem to like these kind of things for journaling and my aunt does. And so I'm like, all right. And then I ordered these cause she uses them all the time when she makes cool paper thingies. Um, these little tiny, th I got these off AliExpress. They didn't take too long to arrive. Um, from the China. Um, you, look at this. This is what's going to defeat me. Opening a little, little baggy. All right. I got some little feet. So little corner feet to make, like little, when you make boxes and stuff and you can make them pretty so they stand up off. So I've got some of them. I've got a pack of them. Um, that, that arrived while I was away. And then, okay, look. Oh, shock horror. More stamps. More stickies. Some more stickers. Oh, look, some more stickers. Some more stickers. And some more sticky, shiny things. And all of that, you've got to be impressed, was in this box that I picked up from the op shop. I was like, ooh, that'll be perfect to take things home. So it's like a big file boxy thingy. All of that was in that. Not too bad, eh? And I was like, cool. I can take it home in that, and then I can store things in it. Up there for these can Tammy. All right. <laughs> Let's get on to the last bag of paper stuff, and then I'll show you the nail stuff. So our news agencies, news agents are not good. I was going to say that they may have been very bad, um, but they're not very good down here. They don't have stock all of that much, you know, because I'm not into big smoke. So when I was at a news agency, I went and had a look and I bought um, the some any of the card things because they come with stamps and dies and stuff like that. So I got my whole... And they, like these are like six months behind everyone else in the world. But hey, these things don't go out of date. So I got myself that, them. And so my mission is to actually sit down and I'm going to... Um, do some cards from each one of those and teach my like you know teach let that help me teach me some card making techniques and stuff like that so i was like cool all right i got some pretty envelopes these were like down to like a couple of dollars at office works and they're like pretty like they're the you know the fancy jazzy things for wedding invitations like pretty much all of the wedding invitation stuff was on sale and i'm like okay cool um, same as like all of these envelopes. These were like two dollars or something. I was like, okay. So I grabbed them. <laughs> if you get can't half tell, it was like, okay. Alright. Let's go. I got some more stamps here from Kaiser. We got that one. We got that one. Oh look, there's the receipt. We don't we I'm sure you can imagine how many many dollars oh, I have Z spent. I don't want to think about it. And this one, 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 
and this one. So I've got some scents. Um, and you know, a lot of them could be used as backgrounds in colouring books as well, so that's cool. And then I grabbed myself a Daiso, some more of the like little storagey container section things, because you never know, I might need these kinds of things with all, I don't know, but I grabbed them. It's better to have them than not have them. I like to have my life organised. And as the girl, Georgia says, she goes, honestly, mum, I think you like buying stuff just to organise it rather than use it. And I, I think she might be right. Okay, because I get just as much enjoyment out of organising. So we've got some holographic pepper. Then we've got, oh, this is from uh, Kmart, which is like native, Australian natives, um, flora, and, flora and fauna. Um, and I was like, oh, cute. So I grabbed that. Oh, look, there's another stamp. There's some marble. And then Daiso, can't go to Daiso without getting origami paper. So got me some, oh, oh look, and these are little, these are little um, card stocks from Daiso. So pastel-y ones. Um, if you, honestly, Daiso, brilliant. And look, then we've got some cool, like whew, mirrored kind of origami paper. And then some more holographic origami paper. And then some gold foily metallic origami paper. You can tell I like sparkly. Some more sparkly origami paper. More metallic -y origami paper. Oh, here we go. I got, because they're classic and like, oh, I love these, all of the woodblock art and stuff like that. So I saw these and I hadn't seen them before and I'm like, oh, they're really pretty. So I grabbed them. Um, and then more stamps. Another stamp, another stamp, another stamp, another stamp, and then another stamp. What's even more impressive is like, these are all done at different times when I went and I don't think I've doubled up. So you've got to give me credit for that. I don't think I doubled up. I'm probably, you know, who knows when I'm unstacking. Okay, let's look at some storage. Love, again, love Daiso. So these are accordion um, folders um, with labels. That was before I found those cheapy ones at um, Kmart too but I wasn't passing them back. And these these guys look like, and probably because these are pastel, I'm sure Georgia will steal these from me. Um, so I pretty much sit there and go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get these stolen from me. But they're like that, and they open up accordion folder. Yeah, man. Stationery and paper, like seriously. Some magnetic sheets. Um, and then these, these, how cool are these? I saw these and I'm like, these are brilliant. Oh, here, there's another one of those ones, pastel purple. There was no pink and I was like, oh, Georgia's gonna be disappointed. Um, but these are the coolest things. So they go into like, an eight, you know, a binder, but, uh, uh, oh gosh. Oh my gosh, things, the small things that defeat me. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. But they're little pockets that go onto the plastic sheet so you can put like little things in, like, you know, store little cards and, and thingies in there. Like, obviously it's designed to put like um, paper clips and stuff in you if you're like, you know, school or whatever, but I was like, yeah, I'm getting them. I'll find a use for them at some point. If not, they'll go down to the pile of stationery stuff that I already own. And then I got some big A3 storage bags because it's really hard finding A3 size stuff. So I was like, cool. And then I got some, I love these. These are those um, pencil cases that um, just zzz, across and they're clear A4 size. Um, oh, these are some labels because you know I'm going to label everything. Surprisingly, you will be shocked to know that with all of my love of organising, I don't own a label maker. Um, I don't know why. I, I really should invest in one, but it's kind of one of those things I'm like, oh, I'll just stick labels on it. I, I don't know. But yeah, surprisingly, I don't own a label maker. Um, I bought a whole bunch of these page dividers. What for? I don't know, but 
I'm sure the girls will use it. You never know, I'll, you might find a reason for it. They were like marked down to like 50 cents or something. And then I got labels, see? So I got these size labels and then these size labels. So I got some labels. Yeah, strangely enough, don't own a label maker. Maybe one day. And then I grabbed these again from Kaiser to slip thingies into it. It's not for me to store photos in, it's me to store whole random piles of the stuff that I have bought. I think, yeah. Like I said, organizing, it brings me joy. Um, oh look, what have I got here? Little A6, little baggies. Oh, look at that. See, I don't even remember what I grabbed. But hey, got them. Okay, we're, we're getting towards the end, people, of the, of the paper and crafty stuff. A whole lot of card stock. This is all on sale at Spotlights as well. Oh, and because I'm a cheapo type, who was it that wrapped it? Oh, no, when I went and got some jewelry at um, La Vista, they wrapped it all in black tissue paper, and I'm like, well, I'll keep that. So that's that. Um, so I got card stock. Card stock. Oh, this is from Daiso. They're pretty. Don't need it. I don't write letters. I'm lucky if I send a text, but they're pretty. Um, that got red red cardstock. I got white cardstock. I got black cardstock. I got craft cardstock. Ooh, that's the oh wait up over to here. Then I this was uh, cheap at Office Works back there. So I got some pretty paper, and then what's this? Oh, luxury linen card. These were all at Office Works too. Like I said, the pretty much all of the um, the inv wedding invitation stuff was like on clearance. So I was like, okay. So this is luxury linen black cardstock, and then this is like gold embossed cardstock, and this is like silver lacy cardstock. So these are all Christina Re luxury designer paper and then this i don't know it was a, probably at a cheap shop and it, it was shiny <laughs> i went okay so i grabbed me some of that shiny Woo shiny um this is okay we're nearly we're nearly nearly kind of nearly there oh, oh that's heavy i had to carry all this too hey me trying to <gasps> i did threaten to leave the kids up north <laughs> Because me trying to get all this home, because mum stocked me up with um, some like curtains and doona covers and stuff because she changes her decor more than I do. So I'm like, all right, I'll take, take it off. And my mum keeps a white glove house. Everything is in perfect condition. I'm like, sure. So I get to change my decor around for free. Okay, this was at uh, the Spotlightus. Um... Anyway, so we got, it was oriental and it was shiny. I was like, yeah, and it was marked down. Um, like I said, I, try, I rarely buy anything full price. So um, I got Sam. Um, so that was a Frenchy Val Oriental Fusion, if anyone was looking for that. And that's the ISBN, if anyone was like really interested. But yeah, it's all 30% off at um, Spotlight at the moment. And then I got... Some black 12 by 12 cardstock, some white cards, black, white 12 by 12 cardstock, and then a whole variety of colored 12 by 12 cardstock. <gasps> We're done with the paper stuff. Okay, so I'm going to show you nail stuff now. So if you're really not interested in nails, um, then thank you for watching. If you've even made it this far, you're awesome. Um, leave a like nail polish emoji, you know, the one where she's painting the nails. Leave that down below and say, yeah, I made it to the nails. Um, so we went, I had a break because it's 14 hours drive up to see my mum. And um, about, you know, I like to stop um, halfway odd through and just have a good hour break. And we pulled into a shopping centre to get um, lunch and whatever else. And right beside the food court was... <laughs> This place that was selling naily pretty stuff and so of course i went ooh, nail pretty stuff so um so i bought some things 
So I got this because Andy had sent me a little stamping thing the other day and I went, oh, that's, I've never seen anything like that. And then I saw more and it comes with a little stampy tool, which I think is imagine is the same as like the little finger dubbers, but it's like diamantes and whatever. So I was like, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'll grab that. And then these are like leopardy skinny um, nail strippy things. And then I oh, see, so you can see I've already did a couple of butterflies because my, um, what whatever I had, something went wrong, and so I ended up quickly going and buy some nail polish, and then I on my and I put a little couple of little um, butterflies on there for the wedding because it was pretty, and then I got oh M put some of these on hers that because they all got themselves some press on nails, so they, this was all pretty for the wedding too, but these are like silver sparkly, Ooh, pretty, and then. These ones are little love hardy lacy ones. And then rainbow love hearts and rainbows. And then I got myself, because it was like, why not? Um, I got myself a whole bunch of chrome powders. Yes. Now, could I do this with my eyeshadows? Yes. Um, do I have like five million MAC? Um, pigments yes but these are chrome ones and they're all different you know not that I, I didn't certainly didn't need these I got these coming out the razoo but um yeah so I grabbed some chrome powders and then these were like ooh, and I was like oh, love these so these are all just little like things that you can add on to your nails like so little 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 Monty things and these could also be added onto cards and all of that kind of stuff as well so you know there's there's a lot of these things are multi-use I guess I try to try to if I can find a way to make things work across a whole range of things I'm gonna do that um I think I think we'd be done um I like I said I did buy shelving and all that eh, whatever um I'm not going to do <laughs> Like, I like my little crafty nook, but it's going to look really cool. Like my little colouring craft corner here that I've got. Um, I had to rearrange my whole room and stuff to make it work, but which led to then me reorganising my closet and then my makeup drawers. And Anyway, um, and but I only did like a room tour like three or four months ago, so you're just going to have to wait. I don't, you know, I don't want to do another one for a while yet, um, but... It's, and I'll probably change it between now and then anyway. I, I tend to do that. I'll be like, oh, that's not quite working for me. And then I'll wake up at three in the morning and be like, oh, what if I do it this way? And then I change it all around. Um, it's just what I do. It's part of that anxiety control thing. Me being organized and me doing all of this helps me with controlling my anxiety. Um, so while the kids laugh at me about organizing, it, it, it it's actually, it helps me. Um, I, I find comfort in making things organised. Whether I'm undiagnosed OCD, who knows? But um, no, I'm not. I'm not obsessive over it. But um, <clears throat> but I do like it. Um, all right, there's my Pepsi Max, just so you know. Um, <laughs> I'm going to leave it there. Thank you if you've made it all the way through. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to this channel and you're just like, what is wrong with this woman? Trust me, I don't know. I can't answer those questions. I've been asking myself for 43 years. No one can answer it. It is what it is. I am who I am. Um, and this is, this is part of it. Um, I work for my money. My kids have food on the table. They're not without anything. You know, this is this is my thing. Um, I'm not married. <laughs> that probably makes a big difference. Um, I, you know, but yeah. Um, but thank you, thank you. Like I said, if you're new and you've made it to the end, ta. Um, let, let me know and be like, man, you you some crazy Aussie lady. And I'll be like, yeah, man, I know. Um, and we will leave it there. As always, remember: be kind, be strong, and be a warrior. Um, if you want to see any of this stuff in use, please let me know if you can remember any of this stuff that I've bought. And um, I'm going to go and put all of this away. Yay for me! All right.
I may ha send out a help sing signal soon. All right. Thanks, guys. And I will see you later. Bye.